Let's discuss the property of indifference curves. And it's mainly this. Indifference curves do not cross. And let's prove it on a graph why this is the case. So let's say we state with our examples, um, apples and bananas. So we have our utility from apples and bananas. We have quantity of apples on one side, quantity of bananas on the other side. And let's say we draw an indifference curve for them, which would look something like that. And let's say that the utility for this level is equal to 100 units. Now, just for the sake of the example, let's suppose we have the utility function. And, um, okay, this is not going to be a linear utility because it has a curve. So let's say it would be something quadratic. Um, let's call it quantity of apples to the power of 2 plus 3 times quantity of bananas. I don't know exactly what the shape is going to be, but just for the sake of the example. Now, let's suppose we actually cross a uh, an indifference curve. Look what happens. Uh, let's say it would look something like that, this indifference curve over here. Okay, we can see that they cross at this point. Now, remember this. Let me go back to green. Remember this, this point belongs to the utility level of 100. Because they cross, the blue point also belongs to the utility of 100. But does this make sense? Utility of 100. At this certain point, we can see that we have the same quantity of bananas. So let's say that the quantity of bananas over here is equal to 10 kilos. So we have 10 utility equals to 100. And we know we have there 10 kilos of bananas on on um, actually bananas comes on the x-axis so let me write it first we would have 10 kilos of bananas now for the same utility for the green line over here let me switch to green for the green line over here when the utility is a hundred we know that that point would correspond to this quantity of apples and let's say this quantity of apples is equal to three now three is on the y-axis or so let's put it here, 3 kilos of apples. But look over here what happens. We can see that we have a different indifference curve where we actually can have more apples. You see, the quantity of apples, the, sorry, not more apples, more bananas. We have a shift on the horizontal axis, on the bananas axis. We can see that we have, for a given level of quantity of apples, uh, let's call this 7 quantity of apples, before we used to have, for example, two kilos of bananas, but now for the same level of seven kilos of apples on the other, on the blue indifference curve, we would have, for example, five kilos of bananas. So if we have five kilos of bananas for the same level of quantity of apples, what happens to the utility just by proving it with the math? Uh, let me zoom out and prove it. So it's going to be quick. Just by showing here, we have the same level of quantity of apples. This number is the same. But now we have more quantity of bananas. So this number is increasing. And if this term is increasing, what happens to the total utility? The total utility also increases. And if we show that this higher utility intersects the previous one we are showing that they are equal but we just show it with math we just show it with math that they cannot be equal because we already have more of one quantity for a given level of the other quantity we have more bananas for the same level of apples so by definition utility has to be higher by definition they cannot cross because they cannot be equal this line over here the blue line has to show higher utility levels and higher utility levels cannot cross lower utility levels. So this should be something like that. I hope this makes sense. This is the proof. We are done.